Okay, so next we're gonna play around with alcohol drops or you can even use like nail polish remover if you have it. Um, can play around with hydrogen peroxide too. Um, just be really careful with these um, items. But I have a dropper here. You can either find a dropper or you can just get a Q-tip and um, and you can use a Q-tip for the same purpose. So I'm going to get a color of paint. I'm gonna choose, um, choose blue so that you can see it. Actually, maybe I'll make green. Yellow and blue makes green. I have a lot of blue and red on here. I wanna change up my color. So I'm gonna put, put a layer of blue and we learned how to mix colors. So you should know that the next color that I use after mixing my brush really well is yellow. And I'm going to run the yellow through the blue and make green. Okay. Then here's the fun part. I'm gonna get my drops and I'm gonna drip on there and look at what that does. It makes a crazy weird pattern, splatter pattern. I'm just gonna do a couple. And this will work again. It's a little stinky, the rubbing alcohol, and you make little drops into your watercolor paint. It's a really fun technique. 